how do you make trash sexy? <laughs> How do you make the food that everyone is so used to just putting in the garbage, how do you make that the start of the show? My philosophy is really simple. I try to make the most out of the least. And so I try and look at something that maybe most people would think, oh, that's nothing, that's trash, that's garbage, and make it have some value. I can bring the world of cooking, which is really intimidating with social media and all these brands and, and messaging out there that makes cooking look perfect. I wanna be the opposite. I wanna be imperfect and I wanna be approachable. My job is to get people excited about cooking. I have to get to that level that they're at and get out of the chef mindset. And I think that's how you kind of connect to the home cook around sustainability. This is Rainbow Chard and 99% of recipes in the world call for this part, but what happens with this? I mean, this is scraps, this is forgotten, right? This to me is potential. And there's so much you can do with these. You can pickle them, you can saute them, you can throw them in a pasta, a soup. Waste-free cooking is really a lifestyle of just finding value where others don't. Food waste in a skillet. So the James Beard Foundation, they're the top of the heap. What they say really does set the trend. They only get behind chefs and restaurants, programs that they feel like are sustainable and are mindful. They're the ones setting the tone and they're the ones behind food waste. It means the wave is cresting and it's coming. Consumers, especially the next generation, they're not dumb. They're gonna know if something's been messed with too much. They want more natural. Anything that hides that's gonna be a problem. Make it easier for them, make it more approachable, but don't change it completely. You're gonna start seeing other technologies for food preservation. Packaging has never been more in the forefront of, of American consumers' minds. Packaging needs to be reusable, needs to be biodegradable, or it just needs to not be there. I've seen this technology where a company extracts the enzyme out of fruits and vegetables, sprays it, and it creates a coating using the enzyme that preserves it. The kitchen in the future is gonna have things like bananas, not going brown as fast, reusable wraps, non-plastic containers. And so all of that's gonna change. And that to me is the future of food.